Howdy folks, this is the Command Line Volpine here, and welcome back to Let's Play Star Trek Resurgence. Oh, didn't we already talk through this? Let me just get through this again. I thought we got to a save point. It's hit. I think this is where we were before I, or when I ended the last episode. I guess it was just a loading screen, not a save screen. Where are we? Where's my team? Yeah, I saved. That the Scions have stolen the Cortamula is deeply concerning. And to be honest, I'd rather speak with you alone, John Rydick. I don't have to teleport up here, you know? You just talk to me down there. Your colleagues don't know what it means to be the last of one's kind. You and I are remnants of fallen civilizations. The Kobliad, the Tikal. One dying, one dead. He knows what she is. Our species could not be more different, but we both know the meaning of loss. The others wouldn't understand. It's beyond their ability to comprehend. We're more alike than you might realize, in that we accept the inevitability of loss. If only you understood the glory of the Decon Empire's past. making this easy, bud. <laughs> Tell me, why spend your days away from your own people when so few of them are left? Why live your life working for this federation to which the Coplia do not even belong? And submit yourself to their authority? It makes no sense. Not by my logic. The federation isn't an authority to be obeyed. At its heart, it's a set of principles meant to ensure the survival and safety of all species, regardless of their origin. You told Riker you'd wait until you were needed. You're needed now. We need you. As much as it pains me to learn the Cartabula has fallen into the hands of the Scions, my services are not up for offer. To be chosen as a portal was to give one's entire self to the cause of protecting the Dakon Empire. I left behind everything I know, and now you want me to turn against my own people. Betrayal of my oath, and everything I vowed to protect. Every Dakon that comes back does so by stealing someone's body. They are killing to come back. What you call bioforming, we thought of as a marginal science. But if these reborn to con plan to restore the Empire, is that a disaster to be avoided? Taconian technology is so advanced, it could save millions of species currently on the brink of extinction, including your own. And at the price of a small few, think of how the many could benefit. Instead, it sounds as if you are reacting out of fear before you have a full understanding of what's at stake. I don't think you've given this full consideration. You may have more to gain than to lose. You told me your people didn't use bioforming. That's because you knew it was wrong. Wrong to employ on an individual basis and surely wrong on a galactic scale. You are correct, the Decon did not use bioforming on a large scale. That the way these signs are using it would not have been... This character model is like the Empire still way more stayed. detailed than everyone else's. I'm curious... His doesn't really have the science. Mass Effect Andromeda look going on. Decon. So I will go with you, and we shall find them. But when we do, 
I will judge them myself as a guardian of the Takan to understand their true intentions for better or worse. It's certainly your right to make your own decisions. I won't tell you otherwise. Very well. I'll return. Commander! Hold your fire. I'm all right. He's coming with us. We assumed the worst. He's perfectly fine. Now then, shall we? You know what I mean? Like. <laughs> all right. We can beam up your. Do you have any equipment or tools? Everyone else just looks so Mass Effect Andromeda. <laughs> it's really strange. The aliens are actually kind of okay. It's just the humans are a little uncanny. Interesting. Redundancy. If one goes down in battle, we can still operate. Makes this more difficult, though. This ship can maintain warp with half the cores offline. We'll need to disable three of them. Well, where are the engine schematics? Power flow routing charts. We're soldiers, not engineers. But she told us she could help. I thought you would know what to do. You're in good hands. We can do this. I trust that you can. You at least know where we should start? This way. That was a little bit interesting that, that they had a... Like a follow AI that actually knows when you're running. the option to cycle the scan I can't scan anything else oh up here Jeez. try quarter segments are a little rough though Surely it's that right there right Clicking on everything. Can I cycle the scans? No. I think it's glitched out. Let me reload. Alright, let's try again. Now there's a change scan mode option. That wasn't there earlier. You saw it for yourself. Thermostatic sensor relays, temperature. Well, one of the things, one of the things I just scanned didn't actually scan. It wasn't running really hot. Makes sense since they've been producing a max output since we left Otari space. No ship can run for very long like that. Not before a catastrophic failure hits. It's right on the edge. We just need to figure out a way to give it a push. Bet that console down there could tell us a few things. As long as it doesn't glitch out. Well, 
Whatever we do, we need to make sure the Takan can't undo it. So we need a way to permanently disable the reactors that won't destroy the ship and kill us all in the process. You thinking what I'm thinking? Warp core, core ejection. ejection. So the question is, how do we make it happen? The reactor coolant system is operating at emergency containment levels. It's just barely keeping the temperature in check. Maybe we can use that. If it gets this high, their system considers a reactor breach imminent. Like we saw on the bridge, all four warp cores are operating at full capacity. The safety protocols don't look much different from the Resolute. Breach protection, reduce output, command override. Cease matter, antimatter flow, command override. Emergency warp core ejection. Computer control. Even command functions can't override one of the most crucial safety measures. So the protocol's still active. That's good. Looks like if sensors show a core is about to rupture, the computer will eject it automatically rather than risk a breach. So we need to increase the warp core's temperatures. If we destroy the coolant regulators, there won't be anything to keep these reactors from going over. And it will trigger the ejection. Let's peel these suckers open. I'll take that one. I'll take the one next to it. The second you two start dumping cores, the Takan will know we're here. We'll be vulnerable. Stuck in one place while you work. We will have to make a stand. Start thinking about an escape plan. I have a feeling we're gonna need one. We'll barricade the door. Work quickly. I think that was the best option. I'm scared of running because I'm worried that running was what caused the thing to glitch out a second ago. We might not have our tools, but our phasers can do this in a pinch. Let's use my bare hands. No big deal. We better get this right. We foul it up and this whole thing goes boom. We don't know how much damage that Cartago will do. Listen, the best way to make sure something goes wrong is to stress. Keep your mind on the job. We'll be okay. Yeah, we will. Sounds so sure. It's not a Starfleet warp core, but the coolant regulator has to be in here somewhere. You'll use the phaser on like a low setting to just like heat it up. Really high really slow sensitivity thing. I wonder if the DPI of my mouse is too high for it to... Pretty quick. We don't have much time. Kind of seems like they're on their way here anyway, right? Okay, same as before. We just got it. Just spam it. <laughs> Go, finish. The fastest. Doesn't like overeat or anything. 
And the show like only fire like one shot every like five seconds or something. Shoot! Uh, it's so slow though. grounds of Sorella. To their neck. <laughs> it's not gonna risk them bleeding out or something. Still something I can do for Itasca. And I shall. Apparently he liked that re um, Among Us! Among Us! So much I want to ask. Amogus. So little I can tell you. I'm a portal, not a scientist, but I'll certainly do my best. I can only assume this is one of your older starships. It is. One would think, given the importance of your mission, they might send a ship of a more recent vintage. The Resolute is primarily a research vessel, if that's what you mean. Not a warship. Although she has been known to hold her own in a fight. Against what? <laughs> See, this is like, like his skin is like not, not an alien. He's just something wrong. Pink. Not at all. The galaxy has grown more diverse since the days of the Takan Empire. Because you conquered everyone who didn't look like you. 
To the contrary. Most lesser civilizations willingly join the Empire to enjoy the benefits of an advanced way of life. But that expansion came with its own set of problems, so... I admire your ability to diversify without creating conflict. That was always our challenge. And perhaps, ultimately, our downfall. The Federation prides itself on its inclusiveness. I'd say it's one of our greatest strengths. As the Vulcans say, infinite diversity in infinite combinations. Interesting. I'd be curious to meet one of these Vulcans. Foreshadowing? If this is the best you have, then so be it. To locate this scion, Galvan, I'll need full access to your ship's systems. Full access? Huh. You must be out of your mind. No, I'm right here, completely in my mind. Given this is merely a research ship, I won't be able to find him without it. Perhaps I should have made that clear up front. I'll need to make certain modifications. I can't promise anything, but let me see what I can do. Just know, without it, I won't be able to help you. This isn't gonna fly. I'll see you on the bridge. Captain Solano, I'd like to introduce you to Portal 63, Guardian of the Takan Empire. Pleasure to meet you, Captain. Likewise. I can't say I've ever met a portal before. There is no modern equivalent. Not within the Federation, at least. We are incredibly lucky that Portal has agreed to join us. Your first officer makes a very persuasive argument. So I've noticed. Riker said to use flattery, you so that's what I tried to go for there. thousand years at your posts. That certainly takes an uncommon level of dedication. We all have our duty. Of course. But I'm curious. You were stationed there in preparation for what exactly? Any and all threats to the Empire. An Empire that no longer exists. Which suggests you weren't very successful. You said you needed my help. I didn't come here to be well, was at least causing trouble, man. Perhaps that was a mistake. I'd be happy to return to Delphi Ardu at any time. Of course, the fall of the Empire had nothing to do with you. We know that. Do you? Because it seems your captain has a different opinion. I'm merely curious where your allegiances might lie. Clearly it's with the Dukan. Yes, Captain. You have found me out and exposed my true loyalties to the Takan, not to the Scions of the Flame, who do nothing more than tarnish us in name and reputation and don't deserve to be called Takan. That's why I'm here. And if you'd be so kind as to give me access to your ship's systems, we can get on with it. And you can stop wasting my time. Access to our systems? That's completely out of the question. Tell me that's not what you promised. Let's see what I can do. You're vulnerable enough as it is. And now we're supposed to give him access to everything? I didn't promise him anything. She made no guarantees whatsoever. I never imagined offering to help would be met with such ignorance. If you're not enjoying your visit to our ship, we'd be more than happy to let you wither away back on your pathetic little rock. Captain? You clearly do not appreciate the magnitude of the threat the Scions pose. So myopic is your focus on your own ego. I will not be leaving until they have been found. Commander Rydek, a word. <laughs> Keep pissing off Solano. And to think I waited 600,000 years for this. You realize this puts me in an incredibly difficult position. I was against seeking him out from the start, but now, to give him access to our systems? It's insane. And you somehow expect me to believe his allegiance is with us? You would have destroyed us anyway. There's no way we can trust him. I might otherwise agree, but you're missing the most important point. He's a Takan, and he may be loyal to the Takan, but not to the Scions of the Flame. He's against everything they believe in. You heard what he said. 
There's too much at stake to be wrong on this. We sought him out for a reason. To help him find our missing crew, Galvin, and those Elidian ships. This is the plan we agreed to with Ambassador Spock. Which I never liked. But here we are. You know what this mission means to us. Not just for the Federation, but for me personally. I can't afford another screw-up. Losing the shield algorithms was bad enough. This... This could be the end of my career. Captain, you have my word. I will do everything within my power to protect you. I appreciate that. It's not just my career on the line here. It's both of ours. I'm going to trust your instincts on this one. I just hope you're right. For both of our sakes. Let me know if you find anything. We're good. You may begin. I will, of course, have to make a few modifications. What kind of modifications? To find Taconian technology requires Taconian technology. If this Cyan Galavan modified his ships, then I must do likewise to yours. <laughs> The galaxy is nearly infinite in size and complexity. This may take a moment. How long I found will something. <laughs> there you are. What is it? Galvin? Someone is using Taconian technology. I can't get the precise bearings, but it's located in the Palisades cluster. I'll let the captain know. Rydic to Solano. I think Portal may have located Galvin. I'll be right there. I'm getting all kinds of interference. Almost impossible to lock on the energy signature. Where's he hiding? In the Palisades cluster. Interesting. Can you lock in on the location? Not until you get me closer. Lieutenant Handar. Set a course for the Palisades Cluster. Aye, Captain. Well, I suppose I owe you an apology. You were right after all. That's what I get for questioning the advice of my first officer. No apology necessary. Your concerns were valid. Nonetheless, I should learn to trust your instincts, which were absolutely right. Nice work. Let me know if you find anything more. Will do. What's wrong? I didn't want to say anything until I was certain. But the reason for the interference is simple. There's a Taconian device on this ship being used to block the signal. Whoever planted it was exceptionally clever. They knew how and where to hide it. But they have underestimated my abilities. Engineering. Take care of the Taconian device. And I can find Galvan for you. It's designed to interfere with all transmissions. Or at least delay and confuse the effort to find Galvan's ship. Hold on. My understanding is that Takan technology requires a Takan to operate. Is there another Takan on this ship? The science could have someone on this ship doing everything they can to stop us from finding Galvan. Don't worry, I'll get this fixed. We're going to find that ship. It did say that Among Us, there was an imposter Among Us. Engineers would have found this device already if it wasn't well hidden. Better to rely on my tricorder. Mm, there's a lot of noise in here. I should scan the device putting out the most radiation to filter it out. better. Most other radiation sources in here are well contained. There's definitely tetrametric radiation nearby. But even with the gain boosted, it's getting drowned out by other sources of radiation in here. Jeffrey's tubes thump harmonics from all over the ship. I'll filter that out. There's still something drowning out the tetrametric radiation. I need to find it so I could filter it out as well. Come back here.
A little bit of harmless radiation leakage here, but enough to mask the tetrametric pulses. Easy enough to cancel out. There we go. I'm getting a clear tetrametric signal now. here? Commander Rydek. I'm sorry. I, I didn't know it was you. Good to see you again, Commander. I've been keeping my eyes and ears open, just like you said. Glad to hear it. What uh, are you doing back here? I, I don't mean to pry, but first officers don't usually go digging around engineering compartments. Just a routine systems check. We've been having problems with our comms lately. Oh, that's news to me. I haven't heard anything about it. Probably because the comm system isn't working. Have you seen anyone else in here recently that might seem out of the ordinary? Maybe someone who doesn't work in engineering. Not that I can think of, but I can ask around. I'm here almost all the time, but maybe someone else noticed something, but... That would be great. Just be discreet about it. I don't want anyone to be alarmed. Discretion is my specialty. Well, I'll leave you alone already. Oh, come to think of it, that Hotari woman was down here earlier with Dr. Duvall finishing the last of the bioscans. I was Tyler. worried it might be her. That would be out of the ordinary, right? Thank you. Her acting has been like stiff the entire time, which you know could just be the, the actress, but it also might have been a hint that she's not normal. <laughs> Maybe Tylus saw something. Hope we are way out of time for this video, though. Hope you all enjoyed. If you did, remember to hit the like button, keep the conversation going in the comments, and subscribe if you'd like to see more. And until next time, I hope you have a good day.